histogram you might be worrying wondering what is this histogram is and you may get surprised you might be seeing it every other day it's a simple bar chart which shows somewhere uh, one shows two variables and without talking about at what time horizon they are say you want to see the the age bucket of your employees so you may have 1000 employees in your organization and you want to understand as an age bucket range how my demographic uh, composition is coming out you can prepare a histogram for it what it could look like is that here you may sh show a number number of your employee and in this case here you create a bucket say first thing is less than 25 then you talk about 25 to 35 then you talk about 20 35 to 45 and then you may say is more than 45 that's it so this is something like a scale you created and you plot the number of employees you have in respective scale now it's not necessary to be in any order uh, that which the first bar has to be big or something you show this is like you may have 20 here you may have say uh, if, if I'm, I'm a scale here at at 50 you may have 70 here you may have 30 here something like this so anything which which can be presented in the form of bar chart is your histogram now when should you use in a quality management process or as a project manager sometime when you are communicating issues defects and quality related stuff to your stakeholders you may want to make a simplified uh, uh, presentation you may want to present the this axis may show a reasons of defect and this this axis might be showing the number of defects so it could be like you are showing uh, reason A is generating these many defect, reason B is generating these many defect, reason C is generating these many defect. So people get a visualization of that what are the areas which are triggering more defects. So there are n number of applications you can make or n number of uses you can make from these histograms. In a simple sense, it presents the data. It doesn't give you the, the detailed analysis of what is happening inside. It just shows you that this is how it is. It doesn't give you a correlationship between two variables. It doesn't tell you the detailed steps the way flowchart tells it, but it sum summarizes the observation and you can, you can get a feel that where your attention or where your analysis should focus as a next uh, step. So good tool for presenting to the stakeholders, good tools to summarize your quality related studies and observations.